Hello and welcome to the Blender Barbox channel. Today we are going to create urban scale city models in Blender using Google Maps and Render Talk and Maps Importer add-ons. So we'll try to generate some kind of uh, large scale or few blocks city scale 3D models that we can import from Google Maps like you see here on the screen. So this was generated and was imported from Google Maps. As you can see, it covers quite a lot of uh, area and we'll see a specific type of Blender, Render Dock and Maps Importer add-on that we need to use to achieve this result. So let's get started. So the, the most important thing uh, in the overall process is to get the right combination of software that uh, you should use. So uh, in this case, uh, I will explain what worked for me. So starting with Blender, uh, for this process, I used Blender 3.5 version. So go to Blender, then uh, let's see, go to Downloads and go to the previous versions. Now uh, let's click on Download any Blender and we need to go to Blender 3.5 version. It's uh, right around down here. And since I'm working on Windows 64, I'll use Blender 3.5, the Windows 64 version, and I'll use the zip file for now because I have already got another uh, Blender version. So you just can download this zip file and then you don't have to install it, just uh, unzip it and then run the .exe file, then it will be good. Then uh, regarding the render doc, we should use the render doc 1.26 version. So uh, we can go here to other builds, then here you have the 1.6 version. So just click on installer and then it will uh, install it for you or follow through the usual process. Since I already installed it, I want to go over it again. So make sure you install this one, the 1.6. Then lastly is uh, to use the add-on for the Maps Models uh, Importer add-on for Blender. So this was developed by Eli Mitchell. So don't forget to give him credit. And if you like, you can also donate to his channel. All right, so you can hear uh, Go to the latest, latest version and in this case it is version 0 0.62 and uh, one thing, yeah, so if you want to, down, yeah, to download it, you can go here and download the zip file and go through the usual Blender add-on uh, installation procedure. So the most important thing here is also uh, make sure you copy this uh, line which can be used to open your Chrome uh, browser. So make sure you copy this. So for uh, later on to save this uh, line, just uh, copy it and you can save it somewhere like on Notepad Here, for instance, I already copied mine, so make sure you have it because uh, 
we have to close uh, Google Chrome uh, before we proceed to the next steps uh, later on I'll show you how so make sure you save this line since you are going to copy it alright so these are the three preconditions that you need for the procedure uh, there may be other combination of uh, software that may work uh, you may check other tutorials also but so far the one that worked for me is this combination try it out and let me know if you have any difficulty so uh, the first thing is uh, go to your google chrome uh, installation folder usually it will be on your c drive program files google chrome in application make sure your uh, path is correct uh, it may be slightly different uh, based on your uh, chrome installation but uh, go to your chrome.exe file then what you can do is right click on it then create shortcut then it will ask you uh, do you want to uh, place your shortcut on desktop then press yes then go to your uh, desktop and you'll see your chrome shortcut has been created here so uh, during this time make sure that you are you closed all the your uh, google chrome uh, opened tabs or anything just close it otherwise uh, the process won't work so uh, right click on this one and go to properties then on the shortcuts you have here target uh, select everything and delete it then uh, you need to copy and paste the previous line that was uh, that I showed you earlier uh, I'll put this uh, line in the description section below you can also find it down there so copy this and then paste it here on the target then press apply and ok so the icon of the google chrome changes into this uh, kind of format sometimes it changes into black so the next thing you can do is double click on it to open it when you do that a white screen appears at the same time there is a small tab opening saying google chrome uh, it's saying GPU starting with PID and it will give you some kind of number for your case it might be it might be different so don't click on OK yet just uh, see that you have reached this step then the next thing is to open render doc so open your render doc and here when you click uh, file you get inject into process sometimes if you don't see this go to tools settings and make sure that uh, this one enable process injection is checked in my case it's already checked and after you checked it make sure you are that you restart your render talk again so in my case it's checked and i've already restarted so i don't need this step so next once you've done that, go to file, then inject into process. So this window appears, then go to your previous uh, window here, and then uh, memorize the number, one. in my case, 12304. So come here and type 12304. So this uh, appears here. If it doesn't appear, you can refresh it and it will show you the result so click on it and then down here click on inject all right now uh, we are here on this step the next thing is now you can click ok on the google chrome gpu window 
So when you do that, the Google automatically changes into these formats. Now you can uh, search for Google and you can go to Google Maps. Now open Google Maps and and search wherever you want you want to go in the globe. In my case, I will use the Sydney uh, city downtown area. Go to satellite view. If you want, you can turn off the labels for better visualization. Go to 3D view. All right. So uh, this usually works good when you have a smaller area of uh, view. So for instance, this is quite big for the uh, application. It may capture it, but it may take uh, forever when you try to import it into Blender. So make sure you have a smaller area. So the, sm the more you zoom in, the better resolution you get. So I will uh, try to capture something like this one. All right, so make sure you give it enough time to download the, all the textures, things like that. So this is uh, quite enough for me. You can go a uh, bigger view, but it will take you time to import it into Blender. Uh, you can try it from a small scale, like a zoomed view, and try to go build on that further so uh, go to render now uh, here what one thing you can do capture after delay you can make this two seconds so that you get the best the be a good result then you click on capture frame immediately then you go to this one left click press it and try to just move it around for a few seconds like this then let's go go back to render doc now the image is imported now what you need to do is double click on it and it will load and it should show you some kind of result like this so we need to save this file as save capture as you can name it uh, whatever you want. Then save it as a .rdc file. Once uh, you are done with this, launch uh, Blender. So like I told you, make sure your version is Blender 3.5 version. So in the edit preferences, check that uh, you have installed the maps models importer and make sure the version is 0 0.62 for this one so in my case i already did that so i exit this one and now to import our saved dot rdc file file import google maps capture dot rdc file appears here click on it Go to your uh, folder where you saved it, where you saved the .rdc file, and imports. Now it will take time to import it into Blender. Okay, now uh, it's uh, it has finished loading, so it looked like it has imported quite. Uh, good sizable area so uh, it, it's not always perfect but try to uh, change your uh, viewpoint to 
in order to capture enough area that uh, that that's that's satisfying for for uh, your project so this is how it looks if you go to the solid view you can see the meshes it's not la like top notch uh, mesh but it's enough for some projects you can work on it individually you can also uh, post process them like uh, solidify them join them together and uh, and smooth shape them and then you can reduce the meshes also for some kind of post processing work yeah so this is uh, what it looked like it's quite impressive actually Yeah, so try it out and uh, let me know how your uh, your process work or turned out to be. If you have any questions on this one, if you have any difficulty, please let me know in the comment section and I'll try to address them as soon as possible. And uh, that's all for today. So if you find this uh, useful, please make sure to like and subscribe the channel. And I'll see you next time with another blender tutorial thank you for watching